Whitney Miller is joining us live from police headquarters with more details on their background. Whitney. Yeah, uh, Katie, this is such a tragedy. Uh, police just a little while ago were able to confirm that there was a history of domestic violence at that home on America Street between Washington and his estranged wife. In 2018, there were six assault family offenses that were recorded against Washington. We were able to obtain a civil court filing in their divorce. And according to the 2019 filing, Washington threatened to kill his wife and himself on multiple occasions, even threatening in 2018 to burn down her home. In America, homicide is a leading cause of death for children. So we really have to ask ourselves, what kind of community do we want to build where that is not the case? Um, every part of our system has to function at its highest level. I think you see the degree of law enforcement involvement that Brought, was brought to bear to solve this. Um, but we know that there are folks in our community who are at risk of lethal events every day. And Dr. Avegno, their speaking, says that tomorrow that they will unveil their findings in a domestic violence fatality review. She says that children are often involved in a large number of these instances, and she says the system has to function at a high level every single instance in order for it to work to solve this crisis. For now, in New Orleans, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News. All right, Whitney, thank you so much. And